IoT connectivity with Presence. How to get started with LTE. In today's video, we'll be showing how to connect your Presence board to the LTE network. First, we'll introduce the Presence LTE extension board and show how to connect it to your Presence main board. Then, we'll be running a sample application from the Presence library that will perform an HTTP GET request using the LTE communication function. The Spresens LTE extension board adds LTE connectivity to the Spresens main board so you can get your IoT solution connected across the world. The LTE extension board carries an onboard antenna and a nano SIM card holder. It also adds multiple microphone inputs, a headphone jack, and a micro SD card slot to the Spresens main board. Connect both boards with the board to board connector. You can use the four spacers that come with the extension board to guide this process. To be able to run the sample HTTP GET application, make sure you first work through the Spresens SDK Getting Started Guide with your main board. You will find all of the important links along with other useful information in the description of the video. You will also need to insert an active SIM card to connect to the network. Today, I'm using TruePhone, which has been tested with Presence and also provides a web-based IoT portal where you can monitor your data communication in real time. Please check the confirmed LTE operator list when choosing your SIM card. To run the HTTP GET sample application, navigate to the SDK directory, execute the configuration script with examples slash LTE underscore HTTP underscore get as an argument and change the configuration of the sample application. In the configuration menu, navigate to Application Configuration, Spresence SDK, Examples, and finally, HTTP get method using LTE example. Then, change the access point name to the one the network operator provided. If you're using TruePhone, your APN will be iot.truephone.com. We'll use the default values for the other configurations, but if needed, you can also select IP type and authentication method. Next, build the SDK using the make command. Once the build is finished, a nutx.spk file will be created. Write this file to Spresence using the flash script. The arguments here represent my serial port, the baud rate, and the file we are writing. Once you're done, check the operation of the example by starting the serial terminal and running LTE underscore HTTP underscore GET command from the nutshell. You can specify the URL of a file located on the internet as an argument to this command. By default, it shows the index file on the example.com website. When you have completed running this application, try running the LTE AWS IoT sample application. You can find this and other tutorials as well as development tools, documentation, and links to the discussion forums on the Presence Developer website. Thank you for watching.